Can everybody hear me down there? Y'all with me on? It's a nice night. Everybody say it's a nice night. Nice say it like you mean it. It's a nice night. It's a nice night. Marriage is not nice. Mm. <laughs> so. Point blank period. Yep. Just like that. You wanted to do what you wanted to do because you were hung up on getting down the aisle, getting married because all your girlfriends get married, getting married because financially it's going to make y'all better, getting married because your biological clock get ready to run. All these worldly reasons that you wanted to get married and you decided to overlook what was really there. You kind of adapt and you just figure it out because honestly, if you can't take hardcore class, uh, marriage is, is real life. What we do is we want you to build relationships. Right. So if you can't get a hold of me, you can't get a hold of Beverly, you can't get a hold of your pastor or your first lady, you do have a relationship that you can call in the middle of the night to kind of see you through whatever your dry season is. And because you're in a relationship, you know, getting the same teaching, serving the same God, then you're going to come out on the other side a lot stronger than a couple who is not Our connected. Our kids are getting to the age now where they're involved in activities, and so that can be very demanding on a marriage and on your household schedule. And so you have to manage it. It can't manage you. Right. We weren't worried about the babysitter, the doctor's appointments, guys. And all you lady wants to do is talk about hanging out with her friends on Friday and Saturday and Sunday night. How you going to handle that? And I ask them, when was the last time you did anything to invest back into your marriage, to reconnect to why you all got married in the first place? She likes the interaction with couples, so I'm, I'm giving her, I'm filling up her love cup, and then she's relating to me later on because I'm doing something that she likes. And is it working? Yeah, it's working. <laughs> My man. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm here. One of the biggest takeaways from the class, me going in, I thought it was really about us as a couple. Mm -hmm. Me coming out, it realized it was more about me as an individual, preparing mm -hmm. myself to be become one with my wife. What I love about that is it says, um, when I'm spending time with God with know my heart, is help me recognize things in me um, that are good, things in me that are not so good, and those things that are not so good, remove, help me, give me the grace to remove those things so I don't have anything obstructing me receiving your love so that I can share my love to my wife and my kids. Maintaining your marital relationship, maintaining the grass in your own front yard and backyard. You're watering it, you're, you're, you're fertilizing it, you're cutting the grass, you're trimming the hedges, you're doing everything you want to do. Marriage is a lot of fun.